Well, hello, it's Sarah, and I'm back with more ATCs. Um, I'm just really loving these guys. I think they're little works of art. And I just decided to pull out all of the different Graphic 45 papers I have. I was inspired by the Birdsong paper. I um, was going th straightening some things, and I found this some scraps that I had in this drawer, these drawers that I have anyway, um, and thought, boy, scraps are perfect for ATCs because um, they're only three and a half by two and a half. You can, you can do it. You can find enough scraps to make uh, a cute little card. So that kind of got me started on all these Graphic 45 um, cards that I have here. So I'm going to start. This is the... Um, bird song paper line and this is graphic 45 and their paper is so great for fussy cutting as you all know or some may not but their images are so bright and crisp and they have a lot of different little cut aparts a lot of times that you can use as embellishments so um i kind of after getting the kits from the atc your atc store too it kind of I got the idea, like, you just gather up things that go together and go for it. You know, you just, that's it. So I, my desk is such a mess right now, <laughs> you should say. But um, I really, really love these. Um, I'm loving these filigrees, too. I, I, ma I uh, used my gold leafing pen to make that gold. I made this gold, that gold. That was white, that bird. So, and, of course, I stickles everything, and I also use my Wink of Stella and things like that. I like to add a little bling. Um, but these both turn out so sweet, and I really just tried to use the paper line as embellishments in all of these. So this one says happiness, and this one says dream. And I've had this in my stash, this symbol, and I don't know what it says, but I just put it on there and thought it was super cute. So those are bird song. And then another older one is A Lady's Diary. I had this, again, scraps, because I definitely made scrapbooks and different things, um, cut up a lot of different papers from it. So this is what I came up for these. And these are so sweet, these colors especially. I don't know what my lighting is doing today. I don't know if I should be bright or what, but this is actually a chipboard piece, too, that I had. I happen to have... And I never get the chip word from the line, but, and then see it says shoe right there, so I thought the shoe would go perfect, perfect fashion pleat, it says, so, um, I just love that one. I use my, um, my perfect pearls are coming in handy ever since I took that class with Mary Jane Chadbourne and her, um, dimensional stuff. I'm trying to use the dimensional stuff, too. And then this one, I just fussy cut out the image and embellished with these little things are from the paper line. I did put this ribbon, and one one of my girls that sent me a pennant gave me this ribbon, and I don't know who it was because it kind of got lost in the shuffle when I was doing a share, but thank you guys. Thank you whoever sent it to me. I've used it quite a bit because I love the color. It's just that it, it may even be tea stained, but I love it. See, there's a piece there, and then there's a piece down here, but I've used it on quite a few things. Um, so those are my um, a Lady's Diary. And then French Country. You guys might have French Country. And I haven't used very much of this paper, actually. I think I only had the 8x8 stack. And I love this one, the little rooster and a fleur-de-lis. I never use fleur-de-lis because I don't do a lot of, like, French-themed stuff. A lot of people love, like, the Eiffel Tower and all that stuff. So um, I, ha I had the fleur-de-lis and figured, well, perfect time to use it. <laughs> And, of course, the uh, I love the Mod Podge Dimensional Magic with the glitter in it. So I glitter it up, and, you know, I just love it. And I also use this Sakura pen, the Jelly Roll pen. It's the gold um, to outline the, uh, the images behind it, the stamps and stuff. So that's one. And then this one says the garden. I think that's what it says because there's the definition. Jardin, which I'm not going to speak French, but it does say garden. So I kind of just made it all about the um, sunflowers and put a piece of uh, a little metal leaf there and outlined it with my uh, gold leafing pen. So those are my French country. And then we have, this is the secret garden. 
So of course I had tons of scraps of these because I've altered um, a lot of stuff with the Secret Garden paper. Um, so I had scraps of that, but I love how this one turned out because I, I used my my Fisker's punch to make some grass with the paper and then just some trims that were in my stash to pull the purple out of this little saying here, this little poem and some purple um, butterflies that I punched from paper in the paper line and then I just stickled stuff and wink Estella it and this I had this little daisy trim because there's daisies in the background super cute and then this one's I love the colors on this one I love pink and green another little spring saying I put a hummingbird as my metal piece on this one which I didn't put a metal piece on the other one um, some bling a ticket trims and a flower so real simple this one's actually I would say one of the simpler ones but still pretty very very pretty I love the colors so that's that then this is botanical tea because originally it started with um, Cody's um, uh, birthday or her uh, birthday challenge her ATC challenge that she did and I sent her um, the graphic 45 um, sweet sentiments I used to make those um, that's when I was like first getting into it and so the botanical tea I kinda it's a similar um, paper line that came out around the same time but these I love the colors on these look how soft and pretty so I use the botanical tea saying on both of them and the little teapots down here and then this teapot came from one of my ATC store kits that I just didn't use because I got three free ones of those for May because <laughs> I had three orders and just some pearls and some bling but so pretty I love that rose it's gorge I think they call that a cabbage rose and I wink Estella the birdie and then this one's very similar just um, again the botanical tea a little bird I mean a flower t not ticket stamp another um, charm and I'm pretty sure that's from the ATC store too so that's my botanical tea then I pulled out this which was so have had for a while one of the very first ones I would say um, was the happy hauntings and that's the Halloween one I think before the steampunk spells one I think that was their Halloween line I think I missed a lot I mean I missed um, steampunk debutante I missed I've missed a few of the um, graphic 45 lines um, so I want to say whenever um, Birdsong came out that's when I first started crafting because that's when, when I first started paper crafting because that was the first graphic 45 um, paper line I got but anyway um, this is so cute look how cute so I try to use like a plain background paper from the paper line um, and then I cut out this the cats were from the line and I just used that as a trim because she's holding her kitty cat and I stickled his eyes and they look kind of creepy <laughs> and then this was actually one word or happy hauntings was one thing and I cut it apart so it would fit and these are super cute I love these and I've used them quite a bit these are sequins they're spider web sequins um, little Halloween trim that I had in my stash and a cat from my stash so cute I love this one that one I just like the perspective of it and everything and how she's like big and everything I don't know and then this one's really cute too um, a little more going on but it still has happy hauntings and I really dimensional magic him and I have so much glitter left in there like it's to the end and I think there's just too much glitter um, some more spider webs and I just got, uh, stickled around the image and this was just a, um, a brad that I had in my stash it's just a witch and then I did steampunk spells um, and I didn't really I mean there's so much to choose from in that paper line there's so many images um, and I have quite a bit left because I think I had the 8x8 8x8 uh, is it and the 12 by 12 stacks but um I really wanted to cut out um, the girl on the bike you guys all know what I mean um, but I just didn't it was I was doing it this morning and I didn't um, where is she I was gonna try and pull her out here she is um, I just think she'd look fantastic on an ATC you know fussy cut her out 
and get as much of her on there as you can. So that's what I mean about these images. They're just or works of art in themselves. So, but I ended up going with this. These were actually just scraps, literally um, pieces of paper that weren't that were cut up somewhat. So I like how this one turned out. I used this is a really cool edging that was from the main. Um, here I can even show you on the cover. It's the main paper in the paper line right here this edging it's on the main it's on the cover but there was a paper there too but I just love that trim so I just cut it where I could find it um, and got because that I had cut that paper apart too um, for another project so I used two pieces of that as my trim for this one and a clocks or a gears background which is pretty much covered now um, and just popped him up Dr. Dreadful put his name down there and use gears I just put gears and whatever stuff from my stash I could find that was gearsy. I used my um, gold leafing pen for a couple of them to pop them up a little bit or make them pop. But he's super cool. And then this one, just real simple again with mostly gears. Um, the little owl image had to use him and I tied in the blue and the moon. I put the moons down here and just some more kind of similar no it's not the same but it's just got the blue in it with gears and flowers and then this is just kind of like a steampunk spells book that I cut out and I popped no I didn't pop it yeah I popped him up oh and I just want to say I've been using this is the kind of um it's uh, scotch I want to say I mean isn't that the scotch brand like whatever stuff you know design anyway this is their, um, I think I want to say poster mounting stuff or something, but it's a really good uh, pop-up size. Because I have other pop-up dots that I get, like these, you know, that you buy. Sticky dots. This is by the Paper Studio from um, uh, Hobby Lobby. But it's, you can't find, look how thick that is compared to this. This is like half the thickness. So sometimes you might want to pop um, things up higher than others or... Um, I just like, because especially for ATCs, because I, I want them to fit, like this is actually kind of really high. We'll see how that goes, but I, I want them to be able to fit into these little sleeves that I put them in. Um, you know, they have this little sleeve that if, if you're going to send them to someone or, and I'm keeping them in um, a folder right now that's like a baseball card folder. I, I didn't want them to be, um, pop that too high. Anyway, so this is a good height if you guys are having a hard time finding pop dots that are, um, aren't small enough like see look I mean this is real I mean it's basically as high as the flower you know I mean nothing is I mean this trim is higher than the pop dot but it's still popped up it gives it dimension so um anywho I just wanted to share that so this is real basic just just put a lot of um of the gears around it and just played off that. So these are these were kind of really simple. I didn't need to do too much. There's not even any ribbon or anything on these, but still really cool. I'm I'm very happy about these. Okay, and then these two were my final ones. This one I had this little girl. Um, she's a stampendous. I'm pretty sure stamp. Um, and she was in my stash already colored, already cut out, and even stickled. I had stickled her little wings and thought oh and you know what I did I went through um I told you I was I found the scraps of this that's what I was doing I was kind of going through my scraps and trying to make room and figuring out anyway I ended up finding a bunch of scraps and I cut a lot of them into two and a half by three and a half a lot of paper here so that I mean I could do if I, I think the next round I want to do is some stamping and coloring, some Copic um, colored images and make ATCs out of those. Um, kind of similar to when I did the ornaments, my Christmas ornaments, I used a lot of the, um, uh, oh, anyway, I'll, you'll see. <laughs> In my next video but I just think she turned now look at these filigrees I am loving the filigrees and just a little silver down the side and boom it's done like it's so cute these flowers I hadn't used and I got these um, they're the little ones that you can get um, just like these and the, the um, ribbons and all that stuff but these were a little more expensive but it's awfully pretty 
and it looks like she's kind of looking down at it. So that's really pretty. And then this one, my last one, whoops, upside down. And sometimes life just sucks. I don't know. I just love that. <laughs> I had, I found it in my scraps. It was already stamped out and colored. So I just put Wink of Stella all over the mosquito and cut out the image. And it came with a little, um, like a trailer, like a trailer park trailer. Um, and I just thought it was cute. And one of the papers that I had found in my stash, it was, it had little, it was like a garden little image, but I covered most of it up. And so anyway, but see those filigrees, they are awesome. So that is my ATC share guys. I know, I know, I know, I know, but look how cool they are. I mean, my desk is a mess, but I have a binder and I'm putting them all in my binder. So these will all be in my graphic 45 section. So quite a lot, huh? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. I don't know. I'm on an ATC kick, so I'm going to have to do some swaps or something. But right now they're all my little babies, so I have to hold on to them for a little while. Um, all right, you guys. If you need a tutorial on or anything, let me know. Um, really, they're simple and fun to put together, especially if you have a paper line like Graphic 45 that has so many cut-aparts and different things. You really can't go wrong. All right, so that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching.